Hi everybody, we're gonna talk about my favorite thing, chocolate. Who doesn't here like chocolate? Okay, does anybody not like chocolate? We all love chocolate. Um, but we've been talking about the source of our food um, and uh, you know, chocolate typically has sugar in it. So, but I haven't had refined processed sugar uh, since 2013. And actually, uh, why don't we back up and talk about that just for a moment here. So, um, let's talk about the sugar industry. Let's talk about, about why sugar is in everything that you eat. So let's go back to the 1960s when uh, Dr. Pepper was created. So what the founder of Dr. Pepper did is he created this formula called the Bliss Point. And you can research it if you want. And what he did is he figured out the exact amount of sugar that needs to go into the formula that needs to go into the food that you're eating to have you crave more so it would be addictive. How's that sit? Didn't sit well with me either. So, it gets better. He takes that formula for sugar, addiction, and he sells it to all the food manufacturers who then incorporate that into how they do business and so now we have a, a, you know an, a, an obesity epidemic right because people are craving the you know they had these cravings they think it's their fault they don't understand and you know why they're just still hungry well you're not just still hungry it's kind of like how nicotine in the cigarette right it's addictive Sugar is addictive. It lights up eight pleasure centers in your brain. Heroin lights up one. What does that tell you? So once you start making informed choices about your well-being and how you want to eat, then your body can you know, function at its full potential. So with that being said, I didn't eat chocolate for I think three years. And I recently, um, we talked about my food sensitivities and chocolate was on there so I couldn't touch it. And I certainly couldn't have sugar and, um, and I didn't want caffeine. So, um, and I, so recently chocolate was put back on my list. It was something I could eat. And then I still thought, well, I don't want to have refined processed sugar. What am I going to do? So chocolate's still off the list. So I'm at Whole Foods the other day and I find Hugh which is get back to human, simple dark chocolate. You'll notice this is empty. It's empty. You know why? Because it tastes really, really good. And I couldn't wait. I just had to eat it. Sorry. So, um, but let's chat about this. So, this has, first of all, it's organic, it's paleo, and it's vegan. It has three ingredients. And I'm going to read this to you. Um, sit back because it's just a really long read. Not even. Right? So it's organic uh, cocoa, unrefined organic sugar, uh, coconut sugar, and organic fair trade cocoa butter. Now, coconut sugar actually has redeeming qualities, and we'll, we'll talk about that on another day, but um, there is no gluten in here, there's no dairy, no refined sugar, no GMOs, no cane sugar, no emulsifiers, no sugar alcohols, and no soy lecithin. Which, by the way, soy has a naturally occurring enzyme that causes cancer unless it's fermented. So, if you want chocolate, you can go direct to the company and buy it. Uh, they have a website, or you can go to Whole Foods, try it out for yourself, buy one, or you can do what I do, which is I buy straight from the company and I buy it in quantities now. <laughs> but it's really good, and I really enjoy it. Now, the, here's the other thing. Chocolate has a ton of antioxidants, and when it's not mixed with all the other toxic things, this is not candy, this is food. It's good for you proper quantities. All right? Have a blessed day, everybody. Bye-bye now.